everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel aren't rolex boxes green in color like that pouch well not this one that was purchased in 1991 this was purchased by my mom in hong kong back in 1991 with the intention of passing it to me when i can appreciate luxury items she thought it would be a when I was in my late 20s, I'm just sort of 10 years or so late. Uh, so she's never worn this before giving this to me. She's kept it in her safety box unused until I took an interest finally after she has asked me so many times every couple of years. So this model is 69173, uh, the ladies day just uh, with champagne tapestry indexed style with gold fluted bezel and jubilee bracelet which is two tone with oyster steel and 18 karat solid gold. Now back then the price of the Rolex I believe is around 3,500 USD from my research online. Uh, according to my mum's memory is that she paid around 5,000 Australian dollar equivalent. So the back you can see the Rolex logo apparently that wears off with wear. So when I brought it in to adjust the length of the bracelet when I first wear this and uh, for servicing the essay at the retailer uh, authorized retailer store was so surprised first by the box immediately he knew it was vintage by the color and when he looked at the back of the watch he was like even more surprised as he told me he knew this hasn't been worn at all um, and I was like oh how did you know and then he showed me that this um, green sticker with the logo generally just wears away with time. I don't know whether that's true before, uh, that's, that's true at all as I've uh, never owned a Rolex uh, watch but for those of you who have owned one uh, please let me know by the comments down below. Um, it is such a beautiful watch, elegant and timeless, even for someone like me who's not so into watches can really appreciate the beauty of this piece. Now the dial at the side is for adjusting the time, um, date as well as to wind the watch if you haven't worn it for a day or two and the watch stops. It is an automatic uh, watch so it doesn't rely on battery um, but on the movement uh, of your wrist um, when you wear the watch uh, to keep it running. Um, so if you haven't, you know, if you place it, put it down and haven't worn it for a little while, it does stop. Um, but uh, once you wind up the dial, you know, I think for this watch, they told me you can wind sort of roughly 20 times or so. Um, if you overwind it, you risk uh, damaging the spring and then you have to bring it back to service, which is not a good idea. Um, now the modern day just design has a few differences uh, first the size of the watch dial is 28 millimeters instead of 26 millimeter like this one uh, also the tapestry dial is not an option that i can see on the rolex website anymore so that's the reached uh, pattern that you can see on the champagne colored dial uh, you can still choose the fluted uh, bezel uh, which is the gold ring with again ridges on the 18 karat solid uh, gold uh, ring around the dial or around the clock face. Um, the Jubilee bracelet style is still in production today uh, when I check the website. Now the box has the authenticity certificate uh, see here purchased in uh, November 1991. Uh, now that I'm wearing this watch more often, I store it in the bottom layer of my jewelry box for ease of access along with the other jewelry. Um, I will pop the details of the cost of servicing in the information down below in case you are interested. Just something to consider before buying these automatic watches that do require servicing at least once every two to three years. 
And so this is it from me today. If you like the video, um, please thumb it up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, thank you for your ongoing support. Uh, let me know whether you have any vintage uh, Rolex watches and what do you reckon of the price comparison back in the days. Um, I think currently a lady state just sort of is around I think 17,000 uh, dollars uh, Aus Australian um, roughly around that mark when I looked at the website um, going up to sort of $21,000 uh, AUD if you've got diamond sets uh, on the watch um, yeah so I hope to see you next time bye